And my favorite moment of the day has just Ooh. passed by. Which you guys missed because we were watching this beautiful map introduction. But my favorite moment of the day is always when I sit behind this desk. And as a caster, you can make demands. And I, whenever I sit down, I was like, hey, Ben, can you walk to the gas station and get me this and this? <laughs> and I know that he hates it. But if I sit here, he has to listen to it. Well. I love it, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I just love standing. Ben is just my favorite water boy in the whole wide world. Ben's <laughs> got to be top ten water boy. Yeah, he, he excels in walking to the gas station and picking up the right snacks. There are not well. many people I can send to this test. Ooh, well, well, Roddy, Roddy, yeah. quickly grab the observer cam because we've we got to introduce these players because right. already Crank is doing some interesting stuff. What is he doing? And as Roddy begins to center his monitor, we see in the top right corner the man who is going for the ten gate. It is Crank. Cranks loves them early gateways. Of course, we had that series earlier in this tournament where he played against Hawk. Also played against uh, Hawk on this map. And he just did the same thing as he did on uh -huh. the other map, which was, I believe, Eklund Ways, where he proxied the gate into the natural. But then not just Zealous, he gets Stalkers behind it as well. And just yep. basically puts on non suppression, tries to win the game immediately while being on super low economy. And it's a really tricky build. It's hard to deal with. And now once more, we can see Crank getting a little funky. And down in the bottom left-hand corner, Crank's teammate and opponent playing very standardly. But already has some threats underway. It is Alicia. A man who has a lot of success when it comes to NESL. He was, of course, the runner-up of NESL Season 3. The season that Stefano won, but uh, Alicia played absolutely fantastic. I mean, Alicia is unfortunately the runner-up in a million and one different <laughs> tournaments. He has so many second places. Oh, he yeah. is the Kong line. For any of you who are unfamiliar with that, the Kong line is a reference to the ever-infamous Brood War player NC Yellow that has, I believe, seven. <laughs> uh, no, I think it's six second-place finishes in Premier Tournaments. You know, it's it's still better than I had in my Warcraft 3 career. You know what I always did? I always went 1-2 in my group stages. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that's worse, Sean, because no one remembers that. They'll just remember you as the guy who went 0-4 in the tournament. But it's like, guys, I got so close. But uh, not close enough. Anyway, let's focus on the game. We can see the first Zealot marching across the map already. Chronoble is going down on his cybernetic score. Crank not taking his second assimilator. So far, Alicia did not scout, but Alicia did open up with double gate. So he's going to go for that good old uh, three stalker opening with the mothership core. And it's going to be hard for Crank to get pylons up close to the base because the three stalker opening is meant to deal with these kind of builds. Yeah, I mean, I love three stalker openings for that reason. It's so safe, Alicia. I mean, knowing the way Alicia plays, well, yep, probably go for Stargate. Ooh, well, then it means that he's going to delay that second and third stalker a little bit, and now I suddenly like Crank's position a lot, Sean. I mean, this is, I mean, Crank loves going for the good old metagame plays, already moving in, oh. Zealot Star. Oh, no. Oh, bad. no. Okay. I think Alicia is in a world of trouble. I actually think that Alicia might be dead. And oh, the Mothership Core is taking a lot of damage. I do First pylon going down. We see that in production, Warp Gate is so close to being done. 15 seconds with Chrono Boost. We're starting to actually see the probes get pulled off just to try to track down on that Stalker. Two probes do, in fact, beat a Stalker in a one-on-one -on -one fight. And this is an, an amazing series of control moves by Alicia. But, but is it going to be enough? The good old question. That Zealot will fall, but now three stalkers being wiped in. He's going to pull probes. He's going to end up losing one of his stalkers oh. immediately. But he does have that additional DPS with the Mothership Core. But he cannot the Mothership Core is going to be oh huge. My God. This is huge right now. Alicia is just buying seconds to wait. No, he threw down the time warp. Yeah. There's not going to be That's any sort of photon overcharge. I mean, Alicia is going to have to rely on pure micro and probe edge. Right now, 19 to 22. Many probes can be lost. Mm -hmm. Parazelts get warped in. Okay, warp gate technology is ready for him now as well, so he can warp in two additional stalkers. So far, really uh, excellent micro by Alicia. That didn't make any sense, but great micro by Alicia. One pilot might actually fall. He's going to try to focus oh. on these stalkers as well. Alicia is doing this phenomenal. Alicia is, uh, oh. tr is trying to do stutter stepping mothership a little core. bit swift. The mothership core is going to fall. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Alicia now, what is the choice? Does Alicia rebuild the mothership core? Does he focus on oh, trying to rebuild Stalkers? He's going to have a Stalker lead right now. He's going to pick up one of the Stalkers immediately. Oh, my God. Still pulling some probes. He's getting that second Stalker as well for free. He's finally going to end up losing one of his own. Uh, he can maybe get a couple of free shots on that Stalker now. He's just going to chill on the high ground. 
Starting to throw down the sentry. If he can uh, maybe get a block off here, this would be very nice. It wears the block. That's eh, an okay block. He will trap one stalker. I Pick like that it. one off. Alicia is starting to stabilize a little bit. The probe count does favor. Whoa, and a GG.